Hey guys, welcome to Spec Transfer and to Topic 3.8.3 .3, using Genome Projects from the AQA A Level Biology Specification. As always, let's start with a look at our specification. First, we should know that sequencing projects have read the genomes of a wide range of organisms, including humans. Then we should know that determining the genome of simpler organisms can be used to determine the proteome of the organism and why this can be useful, for example, the identification of potential antigens for use in vaccine production. We will also cover how, in more complex organisms, the presence of non-coding DNA and of regulatory genes means that knowledge of the genome cannot easily be translated into the proteome. And finally, we should know that sequencing methods are continuously being updated and have become automated. So let's make a start. The genome is the complete set of genetic material of an organism, so includes mitochondrial and chloroplast DNA. It is all the DNA in an organism. Sequencing projects have read the genomes of a wide range of organisms, ranging from bacteria to fruit flies and humans. They can be used to determine evolutionary relationships between organisms. Simple organisms such as bacteria and fruit flies do not have introns. All their DNA is coding. Also, because the DNA in simpler organisms is shorter and has no histones, DNA is more accessible. This means that we can easily determine the proteome from the genome, because it is the DNA base sequence which determines the sequence of amino acids in a specific polypeptide. This has many advantages. For example, it can allow the identification of potential antigens on the surface of bacteria or viruses, as genome can also be used to refer to viral RNA to help develop vaccines, such as mRNA vaccines. In more complex organisms, genome sequencing is more difficult. This is due to a number of factors, including the presence of introns and non-coding multiple repeats, as well as the presence of regulatory genes which control which genes are translated or not, meaning that we have to identify the regions which are coding and non-coding first. Knowledge of the genome can therefore not easily be translated into the proteome. Note that sequencing methods are continuously updated and have become automated and cheaper. Great, that would be this part of the specification covered. We've covered how sequencing projects have read the genomes of a wide range of organisms, including humans. We have also covered how determining the genome of simpler organisms can be used to determine the proteome of the organism, and why this can be useful, such as in the identification of potential antigens for use in vaccine production. We have also covered how, in more complex organisms, the presence of non-coding DNA and of regulatory genes means that knowledge of the genome cannot easily be translated into the proteome. And finally, we have learnt that sequencing methods are continuously updated and have become automated. That would be it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment. Next time, we will be covering recombinant DNA technology.